Hi, this is Sean Perry with VintageRock.com here at NAMM 2009. We're here at the Dean Guitars booth with Buddy Blaze and CEO Elliot Rubinson. And we're talking about Buddy's new guitar, the, the, the Buddy Blaze Signature ML, is that correct? Yeah, the Buddy Blaze Dean ML and uh, signature model that we did together this year. And, and uh, thanks to Elliot. Great job. A dream come true. A dream come true. This is something I've been wanting to do. Daryl and I both had dreams years ago about having our own Dean model someday. Dime bag, Daryl. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know him as Dime. Uh, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Dime bag. There so you yeah. Go. Yeah. Go yeah. ahead. To, so give us the whole story here. Well, uh, Elliot and I met. Unfortunately, the event wasn't so great, but it was a great day that we met uh, at Daryl's funeral and uh, struck up an immediate friendship and, you know, um, shared a lot of stories and, 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 and there's a lot of history. And, uh, but one thing that, that's never wavered is, is you know, Daryl and I had one thing in common with our absolute love of the Dean ML. And uh, it's, to me, it's one of the greatest guitar designs I've ever seen uh, visually. It's, it's, it's just unbelievable. You can't help but feel cool when you're playing a guitar like that. I mean, you know, I used to have like really thick glasses and horn rimmed and short hair and buck teeth and I got me a DNML and it got better all of a sudden. You know? So tell us about some of the features on this guitar. Um, well, one of the things that I'm known for is, uh, you know, I made this guitar years back called the Kramer Night Swan. It started out as the Buddy Blaze Shredder and, and then Vivian and I went to Kramer Guitars and released it as a model called the Night Swan. And we moved the pickup to the middle position here. Now what that does is gives you a little more note definition. Uh, there, you know, it, it's it's just more. This is a, this is a, a you know a drag race guitar. You know, if I, it, it's a top fuel funny car of guitars. You know, this it doesn't have brakes. It's just got a accelerator. You know what I mean? It it just goes fast. And and um, another feature that we have is we have the three degree neck angle on it. Which is, you know, that's that's pretty much the only model doing that at this point in time, that's right, Elliot? It's the only model with the top mounted Floyd. Yeah, and and this will pull up as much as any Floyd on a, on, you know, that has the what I call the ashtray recess on it, um, without the recess. And I just visually, I think that's identified with somebody else. And I like I like the top mount, and, and but there's another reason. It makes the guitar infinitely more comfortable to play. It really does. It lifts the strings a little bit off the body. We can raise the pickups a little bit. Um, but we also have a longer um, spring block, which is a longer lever, which actually loosens the action. I mean, look at how you can flutter that guy. You know, it's unbelievable. You can pull, you can pull up forever. I mean, here, pull up on that. You've grabbed one of these before. Forever, forever. No fretting out, you know. <laughs> And so this is really for the guy, you know, it's it's meant to kick ass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You guys, you guys really hit a home run. Thank I you, mean, thank you. It's, uh, you know, I think that the ML has become an iconic guitar, kind of like uh, the Fender Stratocaster or Les Paul. I mean, the ML shape, thanks to uh, Daryl, has been yeah. held over all the years that the company was out of business. You know, he kept that guitar alive, yeah. and I think that coupled with Buddy's innovations such as you know the the pickup configuration he talked about top mount floyd the three degree the uh, waterfall inlays in the neck uh, the graphic the chrome graphic i mean it's just very different from anything we build 24 fret and i think that players when they pick this up feel it they're going to see the difference on this guitar it really plays it really sounds great and the blaze bucker that we designed for this guitar with buddy this pickup just screams, and I think uh, you plug it in, it's immediately apparent. Yeah, it was, you know, the first time that, that I plugged it, plugged the guitar in, it just the first thing out of my mouth was it screams tone. I've never said that in my life. And, you know, the thing is, is truth is truth, and it, it just comes out of your mouth. You know what I mean? And, and, and my feeling about the DMT pickups is they scream tone. Uh, this guy, Pat Baker, that, that, Dean, that, you know, Elliot has making and winding these pickups in Tampa, He's got the goods. He's got the goods, and he's a force to be reckoned with in the future. And and that is truly, honestly, you know how excited I am about this pickup. I I've wanted. There's two things I've wanted for years. You know, I'm one of the guys that helped launch the full shred for Seymour. And and at the end of the day, when our mission was to have this eat the full shreds lunch, and I'm telling you, it, it gets dessert too. You know, it's awesome. It's I think awesome. another big point of this is that there's only 300 of these being made. 
So there's only going to be 300 people worldwide who get this guitar. So if you buy one of these, you're really getting something that's limited. It's not going to be mass produced like some of our competitors who build thousands of guitars. You're really going to have something that's collectible. We're going to be doing more guitars with Buddy. This is the first one. The first one's always the most valuable. And, uh, you know, it comes with case at a street price of only $9.99, which for a guitar like this, if it was made in America, it would be two and a half times that price. So I think the people who get it and try it will love it. Well, I mean, you know, the other thing is, consider this. These are hand-wound, great, great pickups. This is an original Floyd Rose, not a license. I mean, Elliot and I, when we sat down, I was really adamant. There are certain points. This is a total redesign. You know, one thing that, that you and I are trying to get the message out, this is not a graphic and a throw a pickup in the middle and we're done. This is a complete redesign, and Elliot went through all the steps. You know, one, I, I had the vision, I build guitars and design for a living. I, I had the vision, I knew exactly how this was going to turn out if it was done right, and it was done right, and, and I couldn't be more pleased. And, and um, the thing is that there were certain things I wouldn't back off on. OFR, absolutely essential. You know, DMT pickups, absolutely essential. But we hadn't even created the blaze bucker yet. Yeah, we and we, we went, we yeah, it didn't take too many pickups to get there. But Pat, you know, he has uh, that ability that a, that somebody who really is a guitar guy has, he has that ability to take a sentence and turn it into a tone.